Welcome to the Open Smoke Whiskey Reviews. My name is Brent, and if you're into whiskey and this is your first time visiting the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button with the notification bell. That way you'll be notified of new uploads and live streams. All right, guys, today we have the Habiki Japanese Harmony. This is a Centauri whiskey. It's made with malt whiskeys from the Yamazaki and Akushu distilleries, as well as grain whiskey from the Cheetah distillery. It has an undisclosed mash bill of 10 different malt and grain whiskeys and aged in five different types of oak. The ABV is 43% and the proof is 86 proof. The MSRP on this is around 75 bucks. I think I picked this bottle up uh, eight, nine months ago for around 65, so you still can find them out there at a good price. I did do a little bit of research on the internet and you can't, people are selling these up to $200. I have seen them at that price. Um, the bottling on this is elegant to say the least. Very nice bottling. Um, has a nice, nice cork. Um, beautifully done. It comes in a, comes in this box right here. Um, very, very nice bottling. I like it. I think it's I think it's elegant and nice. Um, with that being said, I'm gonna get into the color, nose, and taste of this whiskey. All right, on the color. It's, it's, a, it's like a golden, light honey color, very light. Um, it's coating the glass fairly well, nice and viscous. Um, it is 86 proof and it's coating the glass very nicely. Um, it's, it's, it's light in color compared to your bourbons, but um, it's definitely a nice light gold and honey color. Very nice, nice color on the whiskey. Um, with that being said, we'll get into the nose. Dark right, guys, let's get in the nose of this whiskey. Very friendly and approachable nose. I'm getting like honeysuckles. A good nice honey note a little bit of a maltiness to it a nice underlaying light oak note a very approachable light and pretty nose on this whiskey a little hint of chocolate it's not like a deep dark rich chocolate it's like a light chocolate note very very, once again, very subtle and approachable. Getting a little bit of a peppery spice to it. I know in the mash bill, or not mash bill, I should say, it's blended with malt whiskeys. There's not a huge, overwhelming malt sense to it. It is there, but um, I know some of your malted whiskeys will have a, just an overwhelming malty sense. This is definitely not that. It's very well-rounded nose and pretty nose on this whiskey. Getting a little bit, maybe even like a cinnamon note. A, a light vanilla. And that once again, there's that light chocolate, chocolate note. Nice subtle oak, oak tones. Honey. Maybe even a little bit of a citrus zest also. Really very approachable nose on this whiskey. It's not, it's not aggressive at all. I think the best way to put it is just real light, friendly, approachable, and, and pretty nose on this. Once again, there's the honeys. Maybe even a little bit of citrus zest. That the chocolate note on the nose is still there. A little bit of uh, wood and oaks underlying everything. It's very well rounded and nice. Nice nose on this whiskey. Let's get into the taste. All right, guys, it's going for the taste. Cheers.
the the taste on this whiskey is right there in line with the nose very light subtle pretty elegant taste to it it's got a nice citrus zest some vanillas that chocolate note is there um, a little bit of peppery spice and, and, and some oak notes that are in there. It's just well-rounded. And for 86 proof, it is, it's got a, a nice mouthfeel. And the, the finish on it is, I'm, I want to say, leaning towards the, the long side, it's still kind of enveloping and unfolding on the palate. Um, it's, it, 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 at the least... It's middle of the row finish. Um, very nice, well-rounded first taste right there. Let's go in for a second. Cheers. That's just very nice, very nice. Um, it's 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 very mouth coating on the front of the palate. It hits you with a, a lively zest of, of citrus zest and sweetness from the honeys and citruses. And as it, on on the mid palate, still getting a little bit of citrus, and it finishes off in a nice like chocolate, light chocolate and oak note. Um, very very nice. Um, the finish has, it also has a little bit of like a peppery spice to it. Um, maybe even like some um, uh, baking spices as well. Um, it's, it's very well rounded. It, it, I don't, it, the best way I could put it, put this is it's very well rounded and elegant. It's not aggressive. Um, it, but when you do sip on it, it, it once it hits your palate, it just kind of opens up and just, it releases in your in your palate. It's it's just it's got some nice, light, pretty, beautiful flavors. Um, I really enjoy this pour. I'm going for another taste. Cheers. Pretty much is the same as the. First and second sip. I, on the third, I did get a little bit more of a malty sense, but it's not overwhelming. It's not a huge malty sense to the whiskey. It is there. Um, once again, on the front of the palate, it, it just kind of opens up with sweetness. And in the mid palate, it gets like, you know, like a citrus zest. Um, and it coats the mouth just very well. Um, on, on the back of the palate, Getting nice chocolate notes and a little and real soft, subtle wood notes. Um, nothing real aggressive about this whiskey. I think it's a great sipper. And if you're into mixing, I think it would be absolutely be an amazing mixer. Kind of a pricey mixer, but I think it would be a, make a nice highball or something of that nature. All right, my final thoughts on the Habiki Japanese Harmony. I think it is an amazing pour. Um, it doesn't offer huge complexity and depth, but in saying that, it is a very well-rounded, very approachable sipper. It does offer good flavors, such as your, your, your chocolates and oaks and honeys and vanillas. It, it offers that, and they are definitely there. You're not really having to search for them. Got a very nice nose on the whiskey. I think it's a great, a great purchase at the $65 to $75 range. I wouldn't recommend going out there and spending $200 on it like I've seen it on the internet, but for $60 to $65 to $75, I don't think you would be disappointed in picking this up if you're wanting to get into Japanese whiskey or if you're just wanting to make a Japanese whiskey purchase. Um, it's going to wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you are a subscriber, remember to hit the notification bell in the right-hand corner. That way you'll be notified of new stuff. And if you're not a subscriber, hey, subscribe. Until next time, guys, cheers.